Hello everyone. Today I am going to tell the solutions of fourth and fifth problems from exercise 13.1 from NCRT from surface areas and volumes class 10. This is fourth problem. A cubical block of side 7 cm is surmounted by a hemisphere. What is the greatest diameter the hemisphere can have? Find the surface area of the solid. So here this is a cubical block of side 7 cm and it is surmounted by a hemisphere. So here we have to find what is the greatest diameter of this hemisphere and uh, the total surface area of the solid. That means including the hemisphere plus uh, this cubical block. So here the given values are side of the cubical blocks that is cubical box that is given S is equal to 7 centimeters. And uh, we have to find what is the greatest diameter the hemisphere can have. So here the cubical block is surmounted by a hemisphere. So the side of the uh, cubical block is equal to the diameter, the greatest diameter of the hemisphere. So here the greatest diameter of the hemisphere is equal to 7 centimeters. So we have to find the surface area of the solid. So for that you have to find the radius of the hemisphere. Therefore radius of the hemisphere is equal to r is equal to 7 by 2 that is 3.5 centimeters. Now total surface area of the solid is equal to here total surface area is equal to curved surface area of the cube plus curved surface area of the hemisphere minus base area of the hemisphere because this is uh, this cubical block is surmounted by a hemisphere so this base is also on this uh, side so we have to exclude that base of the hemisphere so this is the formula here that is equal to 6s square uh, the cubical block uh, curved surface area is 6s square s is the side plus curved surface area of the hemisphere is 2 pi r square minus base area base area is in the form of circle so circle that is circle area so minus pi r square that is equal to 6 s square plus here 2 pi r square minus pi r square is pi r square plus pi r square that is equal to 6 into s value is 7 centimeters so 7 square plus 22 by 7 into r value is 3.5 into 3.5 that is equal to 7 7s are 49 into 6 that is 294 plus here 7 1s are 7 0 0.5s are 3.5 so 22 into 0 0.5 into 3.5 that is 39 so this value is 332.50 centimeters square so this is the total surface area of the solid this is fifth problem a hemispherical depression is cut out from one face of a cubical wooden block such that the diameter L of the hemisphere is equal to the edge of the cube. Determine the surface area of the remaining solid. So here this is a cubical block, wooden block and a hemispherical depression is cut out from one face. So this is that face. So if you cut a hemispherical depression like this, then we have to find the surface area of the remaining solid. That means the surface area of this area that is cubical block plus uh, inside uh, surface area of this he hemisphere minus this uh, base area of the hemisphere. So this is the total uh, surface area of the remaining solid. So here the given values are diameter L of the hemisphere is equal to the edge of the cube. So here diameter is L as well as the edge of the cube is also the edge of the cube is also L. So uh, here edge of the cube is equal to L and diameter of the hemisphere is equal to L. Therefore, radius of the hemisphere R is equal to L by 2. Diameter by 2. So L by 2. Now surface area of the remaining solid is equal to curved surface area of the cube. That is this area plus inside curved surface area of the hemisphere minus base area of the hemisphere. So this is the base area we have to. Uh, subtract this uh, base area of the hemisphere. So here curved surface area of the cube is 6 L square. This is side square, 6 side square. So 6 L square plus uh, the curved surface area of the hemisphere inside curved surface area of the hemisphere is 2 pi R square minus base area. Base area is in the form of circle. So pi R square that is equal to 6 L square plus 2 pi R square 
minus pi r square is pi r square. So pi into here r is L by 2. So L square by r square is L by 2 whole square that is L square by 4. That is equal to here L square is common. So L square into 6 plus pi by 4. So 4, 6 are 24. If you uh, take LCM of 4 here, then 4, 6 are 24. Therefore, L square by 4 into here 24 plus pi. So this is the surface area of the remaining solid. Now, please do the similar question. 